Hi everybody, this is Charles over at Teachers Discovery. Uh, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you things that you can do with a PDF and that your students can do with a PDF, uh, such as like filling out some of the forms, uh, typing over the top of it, or some other ways uh, so that when your students get these PDFs from you, either by email or through Google Classroom, uh, you can also send along some instructions and ideas for ways that they can use these PDFs and send answers back to you. So let's get started. So here's a PDF that I downloaded and by just double clicking on it, it pops open in Acrobat Reader. Now Adobe Acrobat Reader is a free program. Uh, I got it just by going on to Google and doing a search for Acrobat Reader uh, and it came right up. Once I pop it open, it always wants to open really big for me like this. Uh, there are some controls up at the top, this little plus and minus. If I click on this little minus, I can zoom out so I can see it a little bit better or I can zoom in depending on what I need. And I'm going to scroll down a bit to an activity. Here we go. Now when I just click on it, you can see how my cursor looks like a little hand. And I can't seem to do much other than move it up and down. So here's what you need to do if you're going to try to type on this little line. Over here on the right hand side, if I scroll down a bit in these tools, one of them is called Fill and Sign. If I click that button, I get an option of what would I like to do and I'm going to tell it I would like to Fill and Sign. Now my cursor looks like this, with a little AB on there, it's my typing tool. Now Acrobat's pretty smart, it knows everywhere where these solid lines are, this is probably where I want to type, so it highlights it for me to make it easier. I don't have to use it, I could click anywhere actually, just click here if I wanted to and I can start typing. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and type in this thing, so I can just click right in here and I can type my answer. And then I just click away and there it is. Now in order to save this, I'm going to go up here to my little save icon. I can just click on that and it gives me the option to save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop here and I can give it a new name. This is my answer. I imagine they would probably sign it with their name and today's date or however it is that you want to tell them to do it and then they just click save and just like that I have a new file with the answers typed in. This method may only work with the newest version of Adobe Acrobat so if they don't see that sign and fill tool uh, they may need to go to their Google search and find a newer version uh, and then it should be there. Another option is to use Google Documents. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. One of them is, here I've emailed a document to myself, so this would be basically what a student would see when they get uh, their document in their email. And if I just click on it, and it opens like this, it gives me a couple of options, a couple of things that I can do. One of them says, open with Google Docs. And if I click on that, it is going to take that document, pop it right open into a Google document. Everything has been turned into editable text. And now I can simply scroll down to my questions uh, and I can start typing away. So I can come here and scroll down and I can type, uh, this is my answer. And then once I'm finished here, I can save it as a new document or I can share it and I can share it with my teacher whatever it is that I need to do with it. And finally, if all else fails, we can always go to copy and paste. So I come over here to my PDF document and you see my little cursor that's a hand. If I hold it still over text, it changes into a little text icon. When it does that, I can now click and drag and I can actually highlight text and I can right click to give me the option to copy or if I want to use the keyboard, it's Control C to copy or Apple C on your keyboard. And then I come over here to my Google document and I paste. You can do this if you wanted to transfer your PDF file into a Google Doc or you could have your students do it and all they would need to do is just highlight whichever question they plan on answering. Come on over here, paste, and then 
This is my answer. So these are a couple of quick ways that you can utilize a PDF. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call or to send an email. You can email Tina at help at teachersdiscovery.com. Uh, let us know what it is we can do for you. All right, thanks so much for joining me and you take care.